as number last John Dee, so it concludes the following, that John's Gospel represent a highly interpreted, highly developed account about Jesus. He does approve that. And, uh, well, and, and this, this to that point. extent, it's not historical compared to the much earlier Jesus tradition found in Mark and Q and elsewhere, yeah. where we have the much more there historical no Jesus. Truth, by the way. And in the theory. early tradition, Jesus is not divine. He is divine. He, de so, he denies he is divine in Mark gospel, chapter 10. Mark, so when, 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 says, you, when you quote those the passages the gospel, in John's Gospel, Jesus Christ, of God. they're Please, there, the way, but they are a highly interpreted account that is not, according to the experts, it's not really historical. And that's how I benefited enormously from New Testament studies in that regard. You may reject biblical hey, scholarship. Go, Some Christians do. I don't. I think it's many useful tools and skills and, and, and conclusions one can benefit from. He's well, having a, and, and, that, and, and many Christians having. accept biblical scholarship uh, in the, the churches, like in the Church of England, yeah. the Catholic Church, yeah. even some in the Orthodox churches do accept biblical Allah scholarship. Subhanallah. Well, Thank you. The thing is, here. oh, they're both out now. They? Wow. <laughs> see here, by the way, by the way, I just wanted to mention this. They're trying to destroy our conversation. That is how generally what we say. Those are the unfortunately. The, the by the way, you see here, we had a beautiful conversation with you. Yeah, and then we have different faiths. We don't believe what you believe in. We don't believe what we believe. In the same time, we have respectful and productive discussion. Until some people look at this. Until some people who this is those people actually they misrepresent Christianity. This is unfortunately, they misrepresent it because in the hackling, in hackling, when hackling people. Hackling people, Amen. saying all these rude things, doing all of these things, that is you, how they are. This that's the behavior. So, exactly. uh, but, and that's the problem. I agree with you. And so, that is the problem. And actually, those people that are. This is the not the problem. That Christ is not God. And, and that makes actually many people actually to even to reject part of the, part of the things people rejecting Christianity. Look at this. Yes. You see here? If the that's not the way of having. I'm going to have to worship him. So therefore, the Quran is Christ is divine. So now what? So I just want to say, do you look at the music? No. Okay. So what? As an author, we go straight to the source of who put them books together. The, the teachings of the Christianity was brought up by a community of people. Yep. Oral traditions, mm -hmm. very important. That oral tradition weren't just just like and not no, you, not even one location. Just just Across like the, world. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, the yeah. Muslim would yeah. know yeah, yeah. Yeah, they uh, the, the Quran off by heart and yeah. recite it. But the, the, the Christians they, they could do uh, yeah. mm -hmm. not like that's why Jesus spoke in parables. Yeah. So the community grew. So from there that grew before the Bible was put together. They had beliefs and they knew what they yes. knew. So now, when we come to all this, or what you're saying, and you're right, there are, no, he's not right. There are contradictions he's not right. in, the, no, no, in, no, no. in interpretations of he's the Bible, right. the English version, the James version, the new uh, uh, NIV and all this. They, they, they do, and there's a feminist Bible, there's so much, all this. So, where do, I, where do <laughs> we get our teaching? And how do we interpret for example, when you hit on that verse, for example, one of the verses, like when Jesus said, Oh, uh, um, why'd you call me good? There's why'd no you good. call me good? Yeah, There's only yeah. one is God. Yeah. So it's how you interpret it and how yeah. probably Western scholars interpret it. It's, it's, not, very, it's, it's not Western scholars, these are all, but all, all, all scholars. But look, but, yeah, but, but we, we, we they're, go they're, by. They're, they're not, that it's we, not British people who are saying yeah, this. These we, are Christian scholars throughout the world. Yeah, but we okay, go. We go my, 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 or Romania. We go straight okay. to the source that was Only brought down by the, by the bishops from the church history. Right from the time, how was these things interpreted? The, the, the question is, I, I hear what you're saying, and from all, what you're so saying we know is very truth. orthodox. And I, I, yeah. I, that is an authentically orthodox uh, perspective. And we go by the Koine Greek. I, I get that. But, yeah. the, the, but the Koine Greek, excellent, but this is the, the common Greek of the time, which the yeah. Gospels are written in. Yes. But that's the point. If you look at the detail, and you look at the... When, once you see that in there Greek. is a literary dependence in the Greek, that, I, someone's copying from someone else, and then you see the changes that were made in the Greek, by later Gospels, the question then doesn't go away. Where do you go? What, what, you see, you may interpret you Mark chapter 10 differently. Matthew changed the words of Jesus You're to remove the, the denial that he was divine. So and the question is why then 
did Matthew do that? And many scholars, again, this is not a proof thing, like a, 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 a scientific experiment, a chemistry experiment, yeah. that I can prove well, to you by, to prove by, it, by, by you a, a scientific experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the question is, once, once, once you get the, they're, they're copying, to explain That's why gospel writers change the words of Jesus. And for me, I find it most plausible that Matthew, uh, I, I, I can't prove this, but it okay, seems so a very plausible, plausible definition. So I have uh, to believe you. That, um, the, the reason why Matthew changed the words of Jesus was because he was embarrassed by Jesus' denial of his divinity. And at the end of the first century, okay. in Matthew's community, talk about communities, where Jesus was believed to be divine in some sense, this was not a belief that you could have Jesus espousing. So they just simply changed what Jesus said in Mark. Now that's a very plausible explanation. Now you may reject that, I, I find it very plausible, but you have, uh, reasonably, you have to offer an explanation that is that makes you that is consistent one, with all with all the observations that we have made so far. And I've not heard an explanation that can explain why Matthew changed the words of Jesus. Well, that is consistent with what he actually did, removing Jesus denying that he is divine and making him not say that. Why would Matthew do it? That's my question. Well, so and the, and the other thing, and the second thing is this. Christians love quoting from the Gospel of John, understandably. Yeah. Jesus says amazing things. I am the light of the world. Before oh, Abraham was, God. I am. Yeah. I am the resurrection be, 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 and the and life. And as well. Endlessly, all these amazing I am same as Ego emi in Greek. And, and it's fascinating because it looks like, uh, some many scholars would say he's taking the divine name when it, before Abraham was, yeah. I am, in Greek. He doesn't say that. The problem is this, okay. Jesus went around saying these things, according to John, in public, all over the place, to everyone, his disciples, to the, uh, the, the, the unfriendly Jews, everyone, I am this, I am that. But no, uh, no other gospel, no other source we, ha we have ever records Jesus saying any of these things. In Mark, so our earliest gospel, Jesus never says, Are you I am the light of the world. In Matthew, he never says, again, I am the resurrection of the life. In Luke, he never says, before okay. Abraham was, I am. And the in begotten Q, son, as and, well. Uh, yeah, and Q, which so is also a very early source, uh, which is a uh, so very early source, in the Q source, it. Jesus never speaks like that. In the other two other sources, well, called M and L, source. Jesus never speaks like this. So we have to come. If Jesus, Luke says in his prologue, uh, dear Theophilus, I give you an orderly account of all the things that have happened amongst yeah. us, so you may know the truth of what you have believed. She's giving a biography of Jesus, yep. chapter after chapter yep. after chapter. Yep. He never has Jesus speak like this. He never says, I am the light of the world. So how do we account so for this? in fact? Luke 1, according to the scholars, literally says but, but the consensus is that her, John that puts the word, John's of gospel Lord. is a, so uh, the of God. a, so again, a, a his beliefs really about Luke, Jesus being the light of the world, so he puts those words on Jesus' lips and has him say, I am the light of the world. Not that Jesus actually said any of these things, How can you it's what you did? believe about these things. Because so top the scholars at King's College, who are priests, so people I doing? know, have argued this, that th these are confessional documents. He, so John would say, I believe Jesus is the light of the world, and he puts these words on the lips of Jesus. Because they're not that. there in the earlier sources. If Jesus, the problem is this: if Jesus went around talking like this, why did no one ever record exactly. Jesus talking like this because until the end the of the first Jesus century, in the very last gospel, things. which is a highly interpreted, and by creative the way, the belief John, about Jesus? And I've never heard any John Christian ever respond to this. Well, Mark ever. Let me respond yes. to this, so, okay. which is a good point. Yeah. You made it very clear that John's gospel came later and made Jesus God. No, that's not true. I'm From saying that the work, words, the, these sayings, are not, uh, why the are these sayings only found in one gospel, the most ju yeah. juicy, because highest Christological statements where he claims divinity. Mark knows nothing about this, neither does Luke, neither does Matthew, neither does Q, neither does M. All of our sources, no one ever records Jesus so talking like this. Good. But lo and behold, at the end of the first century, suddenly, all of these statements, Jesus walks around He's talking like this all the time. And all See, it doesn't, the, the best the explanation gospel. is that these words have been creatively added and put on the lips of Jesus. No. He never actually said the them. And that, in my experience, when I was a Christian uh, and I discovered this, you it Christian, shook Paul. my faith as a Christian. You Christian. And I went from commentary to commentary to commentary, trying to find some way out of this problem. Did you read any it was a problem for me then. Why did oh, so why is John the only thoughts, one ever to record these public statements? And I can't, and everyone's telling me, all these scholars were, were saying in their books, because John puts these so words on the mouth of Jesus. They all it. say it, so because historically it makes no only. sense. Historically right. it makes no sense. So, okay. That's
having this person shot no, in my ear. No, by the way, by the way. I articulate my case to you. Thank you for listening. You see, the problem, the, the problem is... I'm a Christian. Sorry? This guy is a scholar. No, I'm not a scholar. I'm not a scholar. He's not a damn scholar. What are people saying? He studied his theology and he knows what he's doing. This guy was taken to shreds no. by Muhammad Hijab yeah. when he last spoke. Yeah, but by the way, but the guy doesn't even yeah. know his own religion. Listen, listen. Can I, can you, I, I want to ask you a question. Yes. There's something for me. I need to answer him. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. 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 I want to, I want to, your breath stinks. Just, I need to answer you. Your breath is like camel right. Please. So, so, so no, okay, now here. You know, the, the, the issue is, there is uh, one, one question here. Now, now John, so, John Paul, is, right here, is someone right. who well, you said you copied from Mark, correct? Yes. Now, the now the said. problem is the, the problem is from my understanding yeah, really. well, that that John is the one who uh, who could be the eyewitness of Jesus, could be one of those ones, because we don't know. There is a there is kind of ambiguity again about the the. the even Who's if he John? was, the problem remains that he, he has an account of Jesus' life which is so radically different from no, any other account all, that you no, have no, to choose. Historians have had to choose. Do you go with the earliest gospel and the earliest Christian evidence, Christian. which has Jesus as a prophet, as a messiah, as a miracle worker, as an exorcist, as a man who healed uh, the sick, the of all God. of these yeah. things, which are and all the in the Quran right. as well. Yes. Or do you go with John, John no, who has no, Jesus no, say, I am the light of the world, he but only John ever has this. No earlier eyewitness, alleged eyewitness, ever has Jesus speak like this. You have to choose which is his history. Jesus couldn't be go, go around and be like the Jesus of Mark well, and the Jesus of John. Can, you have to choose. They can't be both. Virtually everyone yeah, has chosen Mark and rejected John when it comes to real testimony about who Jesus really prove was. That. That's that the consensus. Because that's what all the scholars, all the scholars say. Yeah, yeah. So if we go to Matthew, yeah. there's fragments of Matthew in Magda University in Oxford. No, no, no. And, in, and in that manuscript, there is in Greek, and it says, Ogirios, which means the Lord, not a Lord, the Lord. Which, which verse is this? I don't know the verse. Ah, that, that, would help, that would help to know which well, verse it was. Fragment, fragment, there are 28 yeah, yeah. chapters in Matthew. Yeah. Good yeah. to know which yeah. one is actually you in. Have Matthew University. John Statham's so okay. okay. book. Okay. Well, in there. We, we need to know precisely but which chapter. Where, where, where I go is, we, given any to we don't believe, don't like Roman Catholic, uh, Protestants, we don't believe sola scriptura. We don't believe in just what the Bible is, that is it. We agree the Bible. But there is who compiled that Bible, what tradition was there, how do we interpret everything? This is very big. You've interpreted that, oh, they've taken it out of there, they mean this or they mean that. There's more to it than that. There's more. You have to, we, we don't go just that. If there's, if there's, if there's an issue in there, like these issues you're saying, yeah. and be honest, Paul, uh, well, no, you are honest, I apologise. I'm trying to be honest, yeah. No, you are honest, you're okay. a good man. Okay. But you, you haven't, when you changed from being a Roman Catholic, you didn't really go to the, not even the scholars, the, the church, the, the, the Orthodox Church, the Eastern Orthodox Church. Actually, I became a Catholic whilst I was uh, a, 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 a student of the Bible at university, uh, so studying yeah. historical yeah. theology, uh, the church, so the scriptures, all, right? everything that you're talking about. I was studying that yeah. academically, you know, and at that point I, I entered into uh, uh, the Catholic Church. I didn't know anything about Islam yeah. at that point. Yeah. It was only uh, later that I discovered Islam. Um, so I was intensely aware of these things. About, but from an academic point of view, um, but, 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 but I, I found remarkably in, in, in my studies, for what it's worth, that the Jesus of the Quran bears a remarkable similarity to the Jesus of history that historians talk about in terms of what he believed, what he taught, his relationship with God, and so on. What the Quran says is actually uh, pretty much confirmed in the generality with what uh, historians have seen. Now, this convergence between history and Islam is truly remarkable and deserves a lot more people talking about it than they are in the academic world. I'm very happy to talk about it because I think it's a really fascinating subject. So if you look into history and you look at the Quran, you will notice a lot of parallels. You won't find it in Christianity, unfortunately. If you start off from the Trinity, incarnation, uh, Jesus' death as a sin offering for your sins, you will not find that in the Quran. And you will not find it in history either, in my view. It, 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 uh, that's my, that's my response. But you didn't know, because my question, you didn't go, you didn't 
turn to Eastern Orthodox. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. No, no, hang on. I did read about Orthodoxy. I remember uh, Timothy, what, where is it? Timothy, where the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Orthodox bishop. He's written a beautiful book called on Introduction to Orthodoxy. I read that twice. I took Orthodoxy very seriously. So I understand where you're coming from. But, uh, but, 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 but when it comes to these issues, it doesn't really matter if you're Orthodox or Catholic. Because the issues remain the same. They don't change. So the prophet, your prophet, yeah. in Saudi Arabia, wasn't it? Was in Saudi Arabia, so oh, no. it was only, it was only this no, in, uh, in the Arab Peninsula. In, Medina, uh, in the Arab Peninsula. I'm here to do yes. something called the Arab Peninsula. And all that community life. there, and those years of tradition and teaching and interpreting correctly, what does this mean? What does this mean? Passed down, do yeah? And you had Isnat, yeah? You have Isnat as well. well I hear you. Listen, now imagine hey, now, hey, me, I'm listening to some Western scholars. I am not here for now, oh, they so criticize okay. this, this, they say this, they say that. Yes. I won't listen to that. I have to listen to what your people say at the time in the community and what was carried on. Yes, and this is very important. And this is what I'm saying about orthodoxy. You have to look at what they interpret. Early Muslim Christian dialogue, there wasn't any question of uh, oh, they took it out of this Paul, Paul and they did this and they did that. <laughs> but what they did, respectfully, they do say, oh, the books were corrupted. On one side, I'm not, I don't want to, but it says, oh, the people, refer to the people of the book. Then the Muslim says, the uh, Bible's corrupted. But then where it were produced, what, what, how do you know? You know, the, you've, you've rejected 70%. Dude, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, what is Christians I, I am, and Jews I, am, I have a basic it's familiarity a with the Orthodox, but having studied it a little bit, not as much as I'd like. But the point is this, and you're not, I don't think you, perhaps no, you no, haven't addressed no, it. No, no. John has Jesus going around saying some incredible things. I am the light of the world, I call the resurrection, etc. Endless statements. Well, you're right. only well, found you're in right one here. gospel in the entire that Bible. Doesn't mean doesn't if Je indeed. But if Jesus did go around talking like that, which John claims he did, why does no other earlier gospel ever record him talking like that? Because John, Luke, as I've already said, tells dear Theophilus in his prologue that he is setting out an orderly account of all these things. So he may know the truth about Jesus, yeah. Paul, and yet he admits scripts. all of this. He so does finish. Matthew, so I'm does Mark, so does Q, now. so does M, so does L. Now, this is the problem. See, simply citing the Orthodox Fathers who came much later on is not going to address this because this is a first century issue. The Orthodox Fathers didn't exist then. This is before all that. So we have to look historically at our sources. And when we compare them, they throw up these kinds of questions. They're not if in my head, they come from professors at Oxford and Cambridge and Harvard. Matter. All of these people talk about this. And the standard answer is that John is a highly creative, frankly, fictionalized account of the teaching of Jesus. The earlier sources are more historically reliable. And the earlier you get, this is amazing for Muslims, the earlier you get, the more Islamic Jesus seems. He no, seems like a Muslim because in that he prostrates right. before God. For example, he so, speaks George, like he, he's teaching about the mercy of God. Yeah. He's yeah. Islamic. Well, as say. well, and as well, Islamic. The people, and as well, educating the people that he's going to his father and your father, my God and your God, yeah, meaning yeah, yeah, he turns to him. So he supplicated him. He was relying. He was so relying on the. He was okay. relying on the on, on the on the God rather than to say rather than relying on himself. He was divine, which means it should be. We can go through. This is an exercise we can do. We look at the teaching of Jesus, even in the earlier Gospels, and compare it with the teaching of You're Islam, wrong. whether it be on salvation, the concept of God, forgiveness of sins, the nature of all of these issues, we can go, we can compare it. And I have found that on every count, what Jesus said is what Islam teaches. In a, in a, in a, in a, in a, Jewish, in a Jewish context, of course, but nevertheless, essentially it's the same. I do not find that when I look at the Orthodox Church and what they teach about salvation, about sins, that's not what I find on the lips of Jesus, and it's not what I find in the Quran. So I have to choose. Okay. Who do I follow, Jesus or do I follow the Orthodox okay. Church? And I, as a Muslim, choose to follow Jesus because only by following Jesus can and I be a Muslim. Where you can follow okay. Christ. And this so is let how me, it is. So let me respond. In yes, the Gospels, yes. Not in the Two things to mind. Where in the Bible, what, 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 what uh, Gospel did he say? When they picked up, the, he says, "Who is this? I am." John. And he says, "I am." Yeah. These are all in John. These juicy okay. stuff are all Where in John. Where does it say in the uh, Bible? Uh, it says there are many things said and done, but the whole world won't be out of fit. John. Is it John? Yep. Keep going. 
You see, you, you want to keep going back to John all the time because it's yeah. the one that gives you your beliefs. Exactly. If we put John aside, so the, the saying, latest yeah. one, and come to the earlier evidence, yeah. there you will find a Jewish Jesus who is remarkably Islamic who is in his the teaching. Son of God. Okay, so, so the these things what well, John said. You're less than Islam. So you're saying John. because they're not said in the other Gospels. Yeah. No, I'm what, saying you have to choose. You have to choose. By, by the way, can, can, can we move because this guy no, 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 keep hackling us? Right keep George, hackling us. So George, we can. Because we can. I, I Mark one. Because they show is. Yeah, they show is. Yeah, yeah, because he, because he tried. What he no, tried. No, no, he, no, no, you know, people here is attention seeker. They're right here. So let me. I need to respond. Please. Please. I'm looking forward to your response. What I'm saying is that we wanted to hear you. We wanted to hear you. You've picked out this about John. But then what do you do with all the... So I'm not picking up on it. This is something that, you your, own, that your Christian scholars have been not saying this for Christian over a century. Not, yeah, not even, even some of your scholars have been... No, no, no. There, there are. Who, 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 who. People like Zizoulis at King's College in London. Uh, he's an okay. academic there. Says he's what? an says orthodox... A Greek or, I forget if he's Greek or Russian. Says he's what? an orthodox theologian says, says what? Who, who understands this. So yeah, it's not just what? everyone else apart from you. What does he say? Let me just say. What does he say? So what do you do with... For example, you've, you've, you've said this, yeah? there are things in the other Gospels, but let me just say, what do we do with, for example, all the prophecies of the Old Testament about the Messiah, where he's going to be born, how he's going to be born, how he's going to die, how he's going to, he's going to be crucified, he's going to resurrect. What do you do with all these, especially so in Daniel, when he even says when he's going to be born? Let me, let me finish up. Thank you, sorry. So what do we do with all these prophecies? What do we do with the resurrection? You know, what do we do with the resurrection? And people just died martyr's death. And what do we do with the holy tradition that was passed down by the early church? Now we're talking about the early church, I'm talking about. The same churches that are there now in Jerusalem and just about in Gaza and all these places. But these are churches where the it's Jews... It's good to remember, by the way, that Palestinians, uh, some of them are Christians as well. They are also being ethnically cleansed by the Zionists. It's not just uh, Muslims, it's Christians. It's Christians. I, I saw a, a Christian pastor, a, a Palestinian, uh, who, who was speaking the truth about the genocide happening. So you need to remember it's Christians and uh, Muslims, and Muslims yeah. Palestinians who have been so thank you for mentioning Gaza and did you because did you, we're, we're, did you hear about the thank the, you for mentioning Gaza did you uh, hear about did you see the Orthodox Christian priest an old man when the uh, Muslims said uh, when he said that they're, they're gonna bomb our uh, minaret, is yes. it minaret I will go up there and pray for you uh, wow. did you hear that bit? Yeah, 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 I, I will tell you something in Jordan but, in but, Jordan and Palestine we have a very unique relationship between Muslims and Christians. Very unique relationship. Yes. And I will tell you something from my experience. I came from a city called Karak, I told you earlier, which we have, which we have as well early, which we have uh, like an old church there. We have still Christian minority living there for centuries, even throughout the Islamic yes. history. Yes. Now, you know, the amazing thing, during the month of Ramadan, yeah? yeah. You do you find those Christian who lives there because they're neighbors to the Muslims. Yes. So they will they don't allow their children to have food in the street. They will call their children to to feed inside yes. and then to go to play with the children. This is how much it is. And yes. during as well in that area, the same area, you'll find as in Muslims, because we know that the people, the, the Christian, the Orthodox, they observe the Lent, yeah? Yeah. So they don't cook even meat in the area because their neighbors are Christian. This is how much this we how are much like they live. Brothers. Yeah, that's, that's how much the they, politics they respect, involved. They respect and, each other. And this about Gaza and all the bombings and all that's politics. Yeah. It's a complicated well, thing. I don't, I don't want to say about yeah. that. Is but thing. all I yeah. want to say is... So your point about the Old Testament prophecies is a good point. So The uh, early Jews... I, 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 I can the, respond yeah, to you The first yeah. Christians were Jews. Yeah. The first island yeah. to become Christian was Cyprus. Okay. My parents were. Okay. Them churches never changed. So the, the, when they went in the homes and then they start the church and then they set up the church, this was right from the very beginning. So what about all this community and all this? There was no uh, issue about all that. Although, with respect, yes, of course there were issues with... Uh, you, had, you needed Athanasius to come in and clear up to protect the truth. But these yes. are very complex things, you know. You've got to go too deep 
and we need to go, it's not just Westers, we don't go to Westers Scottish, we go what is passed down in the traditions, you know, yeah. this is other. Well, talk, you know, no, talk about traditions, uh, you're on this very point, uh, where, where, Paul, uh, where, where Paul actually receives traditions uh, and, and about these Old Testament prophecies. And I think yeah. this is a really good example, that's what yeah, I was Googling just then. Good, good. So for Paul's uh, first letter of the Corinthians, chapter 15, uh, this is the NIV, the Standard Evangelical Translation, it's, it's the same in all the translations. He says this, for I received, this is, in Greek it's paradosis, oh, you know Greek, so this means, this means uh, tradition, uh, you hand over. But what I received, I pass on to you, the Corinthians, as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Yes. Now, leave it there because these are the points where he references the scriptures, what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Now, I, I, I've read the, the, the Jewish Bible cover to cover uh, and uh, I've never come across any prophecy in the, Jew, in the, in the Jewish Bible where it says the Messiah would die for sins and then on the third day the Messiah would be raised from the dead. I've literally never found it anywhere in the Bible. And neither, in my experience, has anyone else. What's the, 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 that, by the way, that was, that was in the beginning of our discussion. I mentioned oh, really? to him, in the Messiah, I told him the Messiah in the Old Testament there is no any way even kind of any enticing towards that the Messiah is God. There is no way talking about the Messiah. They talk about the Messiah as a savior, savior, a human figure, yeah. someone is going to save the people, someone yeah. is going to people, they will look yeah. up to him to be followed. But there is no way about the Messiah talking about him that he is God or to be worshipped. That's something which is adding to this. So coming back to Jonah, you see Jonah is, is a story or a parable even about a, a guy who was sent to, told to go preach to the Ninevites, but he was followed by a whale that he preached to the Ninevites, repented, etc. Nowhere, nowhere in that, and I'll be quite strict on this, do, 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 does Jonah mention a Messiah who would die and on the third day be rose again from the dead? He never mentions that in Jonah. Jonah has nothing to do with this subject at all. You would have to read Jonah in a highly allegorical, symbolic way way which, which some people call eisegesis this is actually a joke uh, technically eisegesis is the opposite of exegesis eisegesis sounds like i see jesus is what christians often do they they see jesus all over the old testament but they read him into the text they don't read him out of the text which is what exegesis which is what historians do i'm trying to practice history here jonah has nothing to do with uh, the messiah dying and rising from the dead but you can have your highly symbolic allegorical. The problem with that is you can argue anything. I yeah. can say that Muhammad is mentioned all over the, well, all, all the Old Testament. Show it to me. Because in my highly show allegorical interpretation, yeah, he's on every page of the Bible. Now he's not, show and I'm not arguing that. No, but if I use that methodology, oh, I could, I could anyway. argue anything I want to. And that's no. why I don't uh, adopt that methodology. Gone. Good point. All right. So these things are very detailed, very you have to get into exactly sites, uh, certain passages, why they interpreted the way they are, and it's a very long discussion of these things. But you raise very good points. But may I ask you something else now? About Jonah, how, how do you respond to that? Because you mentioned Jonah. So yeah, how does Jonah that, reference that, 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 that was a prophecy about yeah, Jesus uh, being crucified and raising up. But in Jonah? Yeah. I've never read, I've read Jonah dozens of times, I've never come across it. Which, where does it say in Jonah? Oh, it's know. not talking about Jesus, it's talking about Jonah the prophet, talking it's to like the Ninevites. It's like what's happening here. It's not, it's, it's, happen. with, with respect, it's, okay. it's not in Jonah at all. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not okay. there. Okay, I can see because I, I'm calm. Okay. I, I'm not wise enough to explain well, not, all not, that. Not, not, I remember, it's not wisdom, it's but you know, if I just go back to, Carry on. have you read, have you seen the podcast of Jay Dyer about the continuity? He's talked to Jay Dyer before, and Jay Dyer told me. Uh, I don't think I have, no. Yeah. It's very interesting to look at that as well, uh, just to see yeah, his, no, uh, reason, and on the okay, Trinity, on. and on okay. the Trinity. Sorry, I'm just saying, because yeah. I'm not as articulate. Jay Dyer is orthodox receives, you know. If you look at his again uh, discussing with the Muslims oh, about we're, the we're Trinity, Alhamdulillah, we're free of the uh, the shaitan. About, about the Trinity. <laughs> I'll come here, yeah, oh, please, oh, brothers, excellent. <laughs> Stay there, please. Thank you. Very well. I would love to hear Paul. Whenever you do, no please worries. come up and tell me what do you think of Jay Dyer's discussion about continuity. Continuity of what? Well, the priesthood. 
the priesthood in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy, what the Jews had and how it was prophesied that the Gentiles would take over and they will continue it. Who are those people? Is it the Protestants? Is it the Roman Catholics? Is it the Muslims? Or is it the Orthodox? It's very important. Please do look at that if you can. And also, his point about the there's no continuity about anything. I'm not saying there's no continuity about these things. I'm saying when it comes to who Jesus was, what he taught, and the prophecies that you allege are of Jesus' death and resurrection, I've honestly never found any prophecy anywhere in the Old Testament that speaks of the Messiah dying and rising uh, from the dead on the third day. Literally never found it. And I've read every single word of the Old Testament. I've never found it. What do you think what do you think the Jews would do? What do you think the Jews would do to Jesus if he claimed he was God? Well, he wouldn't have claimed because no human being uh, in his right mind could claim to be God. And he didn't claim to be God in our early sources. Why did they crucify him? Right. The Romans, according to the Gospels, the Romans crucified him for sedition. He, he was a, seen as a troublemaker. The Romans were very crucifixion happy. They crucified lots of people. Any troublemakers, they picked them up and crucified them. They weren't particularly fussy about Jewish theology. Roman soldiers didn't care about theology, they did care about potential troublemakers. And a guy who went around seemingly claiming to be the Messiah, and in Jewish tradition, a Messiah was a king like David, a human warrior. And if you've got a guy who's apparently currently claiming to be a warrior under Roman occupation, what would the, the Zionists do today? You, know, they, you bomb them, you kill them, and they execute them. That was the, that's the motive. The motive is clear. They weren't concerned with Christology and tradition and priests but and didn't, Jewish didn't, theology. Didn't, they didn't he care blaspheme? about that. Didn't Jesus blaspheme? They, he didn't blaspheme. When you said I am? No, the I am statements are all in John. All and in we John. Can't How many times do I have to say yeah, this? Yeah, I know that, and we can't accept that. Well, you have to account for why Jesus speaks the way listen, he does if, in John. If, if there is someone, if there is someone. else in the earlier gospel. Listen, you have to choose historically. Because it wasn't mentioned Which, anywhere else, no, does that mean? Think historically yeah. for a second. Does Jesus say Yes, he does. Both, because neither go. says he does both. Mark 1. Mark, Mark, Mark 1, 1 is not Jesus speaking. That's Mark himself well, talking. Well, I mean, the Mark actual words on Jesus' lips no. in John's no. Gospel are not found no. in Matthew, Luke, uh, or, or Mark, or Q, or M, or L, or all of our sources. When, when, he said, when, when, when Shaitan was tempting God, uh, Jesus, he said, don't tempt your God. Don't tempt God. Well, which passage is it? Mark or in Luke? In Matthew or Luke? I don't know. We need to look at the details. He doesn't quite say that if you look at the details. So you have to answer why Jesus denies he was divine in Mark 10. Matthew has the same passage. He changes the words of Jesus to remove that problem. These details, the devil is in the details. The devil's in the details where the later gospel writers change the words of Jesus. And the devil's involved in that, I think, because you're moving away from the real historical Jesus, the Islamic Jesus, into the later Christian understanding, which is not his history. I'll pick, I'll pick something up. So you say Jesus... Going circle, I think we're going around in circles. I think yeah, we're, we're going over by the way, circles. by the way, you know, listen, I'll tell you something. Oh, George, yeah, George. yeah, we are going... What we you are, are saying, what you, what you are saying to you from the beginning. Okay, uh, absolute pleasure. I'm not, I'm by not a scholar. Well, what no, you are I'm saying to you... Either. It's been great talking to you. I really, I really I learned, appreciate I your... Yeah. Talking to you is always a pleasure. I'm yeah, and, and, well, I'm glad that you can... Yeah, 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 brother thank you. And as well, and as well, uh, thank you as well for this beautiful and... Uh, and we will have more discussions. Fruitful discussion. We want a lot of these discussions. And again, what we are saying to you again, Think about when John when John was was copying from Mark. Why did he add certain things? That's the thing which you need to ponder and then read about it in a holistic way and then after that. You All right. God bless you. Sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Jazakallah khair. Anyway, thank you, my brothers and sisters. May Allah reward you. Bless you all. It was actually a fruitful discussion. It was. And Alhamdulillah, I, I wish, I wish that we did have hakilers here, but you know, Shaitan, Shaitan hates us to hear the truth. That's how it is. Alhamdulillah. Anyway. But Alhamdulillah, always the truth. Inshallah, it will come eventually, regardless. And the good thing, Alhamdulillah, we had a very beautiful discussion. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to increase our soul in knowledge and iman, and I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide our brother John. Inshallah, hopefully in the future he will read more. But George, listen, I will tell you something. If, it, if Islam made sense to you at any point, yeah? So again? If Islam makes sense to you at any point in your life, don't have 
the arrogance and the pride not yes. to follow. I don't know. I, I look. I follow what God said. What Good. Jesus. That's fine. Love your neighbor. So I love everybody. I respect everybody. And, and we love the guidance for and you. We and I, I love the you, guidance to yeah, come to you. Either you're misled or I'm misled. Okay. One of us is the so truth. So we have to pray for if each other. The, if the truth came to us, if the truth came to you, there is two factors. The devil plus our arrogance and pride not to accept it. Yes. So that's why we should we should seek refuge in God from the devil. Yes. Plus as well, we should seek refuge from God as well. Uh, in God from what? From our own desire and our own pride and arrogance. Yes. yes. So the, the, the truth to be followed regardless. Exactly. So if you find the truth, George, follow it. Absolutely. Yeah. And take we it from there. Right. Yes. Right. You've been, right. you've been coming in every week. Every week, you. Thank you. you have this different discussion with different people. Yes. And yes. yet they give the same answer. Yet you don't accept. Yeah. No. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Anyway. Thank you, John. <laughs> thank you, John. Anyway, thank you, my brothers. May Allah reward you and bless you. Allah barik you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Who's who's who? Who's who? Which is which? Okay. No, he didn't answer. Jesus yeah, said, okay, I'm, I'm going to my God. Oh. My God. Okay. So he has yes. a God. Huh? No, he said, yeah. I am going, You're going? to my God. My God. Is that right? If I just go to the food, you can see the food. You don't want to get eight something. I might stay with you. I might stay with you. Thank you. No, 